Hi everyone, welcome to the channel. Um, here in this video, I'm gonna teach you how to learn machine learning from zero. I'm gonna give you a studying path uh, that you can follow, very pragmatic uh, approach, uh, very hands-on, uh, focused on practicing and coding. And uh, yeah, let's get to it. First thing you should learn when uh, you start machine learning, I think it's probably Python. Uh, even before math and uh, you know all of that many of the learning paths I see online they start with the math and then move on to, to code uh, I suggest you do otherwise I suggest you start with code and then you move on to math um, not because one is more important than the other it's just that I think getting your hands dirty start coding uh, from the beginning uh, it can be really helpful all right so you start with Python um, now how do you start with Python um, first thing I think is uh, start coding using platforms that will uh, allow you to start coding straight away on their own interface so you don't have to bother in the beginning with downloading stuff that will come come later uh, there's excellent platforms that allow you to do that such as educative code Academy uh, many others um, so I suggest you start there and uh, get used to the basics of Python. Data structures, uh, if, else, for loops, and uh, creating functions. I think uh, those, those are the basics. That's like the, the, the basic, uh, you, get, you get a hang of the basic syntax of Python. And um, yeah, very useful. Uh, don't spend ages on, on, on this because you're gonna learn Python also as you go working on projects and um, studying machine learning. So you just need the basics to get you through the next steps. So the next step would be for me, uh, machine learning fundamentals. Now, what do I mean by machine learning fundamentals? There's a lot of stuff out there, uh, like too, like way too many algorithms and models, like you cannot learn all of that. Um, so focus on the basics, uh, on the fundamentals of machine learning. Let's say, um, understanding the difference between uh, supervised versus unsupervised learning um, difference between a regression and uh, classification like th those two are already like uh, you know you understand how this world of machine learning works and then you move on to standard libraries um, main ML libraries I recommend you start with uh, scikit-learn. Um, scikit-learn is um, it's it's a it's a great library. I think it contains uh, a lot of the options. It's very uh, generic, let's say. Uh, contains pre-processing stuff. It contains uh, model evaluation. I think it's a great place to start. Um, there is this course on educative called uh, scikit-learning. Uh, scikit-learn for machine learning. Um, even if you don't want to take it, um, you can follow at least the course content, so the syllabus, uh, as the overall guideline. You know, introduction to machine learning, pre-processing, supervised learning, unsupervised learning, model evaluation, and some tips and tricks. Mm, so I think it's a great way to start, uh, either by taking the course um, or by um, following this path. Now, um, again, uh, I, I recommend you take a hands-on approach. So uh, once you understand basically how the algorithm works, take a look at the documentation, you know, see how, how it behaves, how it's coded, what are the main uh, hypotheses behind uh, each model. <clears throat> and um, yeah, and uh, once like don't focus on, uh, don't waste time trying to learn all of the models that are available there. Focus on the few ones, like three or four per, per use case, and uh, it should be good, honestly. And then, uh, most important par part, I think, is practice. Practice, 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 like a lot, uh, hands-on code all the time. Try to solve machine, machine learning problems often, all the time. Um, now, wh where do you start? I recommend Kaggle. Uh, I think Kaggle is a great source of uh, data sets and uh, machine learning problems. Uh, Kaggle is, is a sort of a machine learning community where you have uh, both competitions and data sets, a lot of code. Um, but uh, yeah, as a beginner, I think uh, maybe competitions and data sets will, uh, will help you. 
if you come here, uh, if you go to competitions, you'll see these uh, sort of like getting started. Uh, these are like beginner friendly competitions. Now they are sort of like the kindergarten of uh, machine learning. Um, so you, you really shouldn't like spend ages in here, but it's still good to like understand the very, like the basic mechanics of machine learning problem. And uh, they have both classification and uh, regression and um, use these to learn, but you should not put these in your portfolio, for example, because everyone knows these problems. Uh, everyone knows how basic they are. So you're not doing yourself any favors if you add these to your CV or portfolio or whatever. Still very useful to, to learn when you're a beginner. Once you're comfortable with these and you want to move to something more advanced or more interesting, go to data sets and then search things that interest you. So if you're interested, I, I don't know, in finance, just tap finance, you're going to see like there's like thousands of data sets related to finance. Find something that you know uh, sparks your curiosity and uh, start coding and start exploring this data set, start training machine learning models in them. And um, yeah, that, that will definitely get you going with, uh, with code and machine learning and practice. And uh, you start looking at other people's codes and uh, see what models they use. And then you can learn about these, these models too. Now, finally, I think uh, this, this is a good moment to start looking into math more uh, deeply. Um, math is a very important part in da of data science, uh, I'm not going to lie. So you should definitely uh, give it some time. Uh, but again, uh, like Python, and um, it's not something that you can learn, uh, you know, just in a few weeks or a few months. It takes time. So, you know, take it slow, learn a little bit. Um, try to use what you've learned in, in when you practice when you learn a new algorithm try to understand the math behind it now there is a few uh, subdomains of math that you should really focus on uh, mainly uh, linear algebra and uh, probability and uh, statistics and the third one is optimization uh, these are the main three um, You'll see, like when you start studying it for a while, you're gonna find other interesting stuff. But for now, for a beginner, I think these uh, three are uh, are great uh, starting place. Uh, so linear algebra is um, all the operations that we do with matrices. Uh, you do that a lot in machine learning, uh, probability and statistics. Again, you need your you need to be very good with your basic statistics, so median, mean, all of that. But also probability, like probability distributions are very important when you are working with machine learning models, understanding the, like what, what's a normal distribution, why do you use that? Why do you use it so much in uh, in machine learning algorithms, and the optimization, just the basics. I think uh, at least gradient descent algorithm uh, is something you should uh, look into. Um, there now this part is less practical, uh, so to say. So it's hard to like. Uh, besides doing some exercises, it's hard to to learn it uh, straight, like hands-on. I think you should, you know, take some time to read it and uh, to to watch some videos, and then you can try hands-on stuff. For example, implementing the things you learned uh, there in Python. Um, I'm a books guy, and um, I really like these these two books. So, first one is called Essential Math for Data Science. Um, it covers a lot of the things we saw there and uh, a little bit more. They do a, a small, a sh short calculus review in the beginning. They cover probability. They cover um, they cover uh, statistics. They will cover linear algebra. They will cover. Uh, they will start getting into uh, data science and machine learning with linear regression and uh, even neural networks, um, and even some career advice in the end. So yeah, I think it's a it's a great resource to start. And then once you want to focus more in like statistics, uh, there's this book which I also recommend, it's called Practical Statistics for Data Scientists, which I think really complements well that other one because it will uh, focus more on, uh, on exploratory data analysis, sampling uh, experiments as well. And um, I think these are all very important. So by reading these two books, I think you're you got your basics covered. Uh, it's never over. You still have to study more uh, further down the road, but for now you should be okay. Um, so yeah, so if you know, you know your Python, you know your machine learning fundamentals, 
uh, you know your math, you've been practicing, um, what's next? Now, depend, it also, of course, it depends on like how, for how long, uh, like how long you've been studying for, but after a few months or maybe a year, depending on uh, how um, intense your routine uh, has been, um, you can start thinking of specializing because all of these will uh, give you some generic uh, knowledge and then the final step uh, when you start moving from beginner to intermediate level is to specialize. Uh, there's too much stuff in machine learning. You cannot know it all. So, you know, learn the basics, understand the basics, but at some point you need to start specializing and uh, focusing on things like there's like, like a lot of domains, uh, subdomains in, in machine learning, but there's uh, NLP, natural language processing, which is very hot right now. Um, you can do text classification, uh, sentiment analysis, things like that. You have time series um, where you can, uh, if you work in finance, for example, it, it's, uh, it's really important where you understand how prices evolve over time and then you can uh, try to make predictions. You've got computer vision, which is all about, you know, identifying objects and images and uh, face detection, things like that. So yeah, once you've mastered the basics, start finding your niche and uh, go all in in it.